Welcome to our concert hall. My name is Joanne May, and I'm a violinist in the DuPage Symphony Orchestra. Today, I'm going to be talking to you... Excuse me. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about... One moment. Today I'm going to be talking to you about music that is bold and beautiful. Our 2024-25 season of bold and beautiful music begins with a concert that includes two Russian composers who were bold in their purposes to compose music that went contrary to the classical norms of their day, which was to compose in a Western European style. These two Russians, both whose first names were Alexander, are Alexander Borodin and Alexander Glazunov. Alexander Borodin was a Russian composer who also had a dual career in the field of science. In addition to his musical contributions, Borodin was a professor at the Medical Surgical Academy in St. Petersburg, where he contributed greatly to the field of organic chemistry. His lectures and research drew audiences from all over Russia, and he is credited with advancing the study of chemistry in the country. Musically, Alexander Borodin was part of a group of Russian composers known as the Mighty Handful, or the Five. Borodin, along with Mili Bilakirev, Cesar Kui, Modest Mazorsky, and Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, sought to create a distinctly Russian style of classical music. By drawing inspiration from Russian folk music, history, and culture, these composers aimed to break away from the Western European influences that had previously dominated Russian classical music. The DuPage Symphony will be performing two of Alexander Borodin's works, the Overture to Prince Igor, as well as his second symphony in B minor, both of which were composed in the later part of Borodin's career. The symphony in B minor is one of only two completed symphonies by this composer, although he began a third one before his death in 1887. Sometimes referred to as the heroic symphony, Borodin's second symphony draws heavily from Russian history and culture and aims to capture the spirit of great Russian warriors and the grandeur of Russian national identity. Though the symphony is not considered programmatic, its use of driving rhythms and dramatic orchestration undoubtedly depict heroic tales and battles. Because of these themes and its pseudo-programmaticism, Borodin's Symphony No. 2 in B minor is considered by many to be the first great Russian symphony. Alexander Glazunov was another Russian composer whose music served as a bridge between the 19th century romantic classical music and the 20th century style of composition. He was a student of Mili Bilakirev and Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, both of whom were members of the mighty handful mentioned in the Alexander Borodin segment. These composers sought to create a distinctly Russian style of music, and naturally their compositional voices were passed on to Alexander Glazunov. Glazunov took the Russian nationalist aspects of his teacher's compositions and infused it with Western European techniques, particularly those of German composers Johannes Brahms and Richard Wagner. Though his musical output is often overshadowed by Russian titans like Shostakovich and Stravinsky, his blend of Russian and Western European styles solidified Glazunov as a pivotal composer at the turn of the century. The DuPage Symphony will be performing one of Glazunov's earliest works entitled Stenka Rezin. This piece is a symphonic poem that uses programmatic elements to tell the narrative of real-life historical figure Stenka Rezin, who became somewhat of a folk hero in Russia. Stenka Rezin was a Cossack leader who led a major peasant uprising against the oppressive Tsarist regime in the 17th century. 
Though the rebellion ultimately failed, Stinka Rezin's story remained a subject of many Russian folk songs, artwork, and legends. Musically, elements of the story of Raisin's power and the eventual downfall of the rebellion can be heard through the use of minor key and dark, brooding melodies. The ending is particularly somber and largely expressed as the solemn and reflective music signifies Raisin's capture and the ending of the uprising. As a whole, this symphonic poem demonstrates Glazunov's technique of narrative-driven composition through vivid orchestration and musical textures. We hope you will enjoy the DuPage Symphony's 24-25 season of bold and beautiful music.